This is another 4 player fixed card game which is being played with my subscribers. The black player is a grandmaster, and the yellow and orange players are masters. And this time it makes me the most sense to go for South America which is actually one border this time, so it's like Australia so with just me having a very nice opportunity to expand to Africa in which very luckily I have a lot of troops too, and with it only being two border the things are even more promising to me, combining with South America I will get to hold the five troops value with only having two borders to guard, so it's even better than North America in a regular game. Though in this game North America has only two borders to guard also, but the thing is that it will probably take a while for someone to capture North America, while I'm getting these continents immediately, and then if I want, then I will be just simply able to prevent another player from capturing it. So that's a very advantageous position for me for sure. And with the yellow player going for and moving his troops to North America, I think I might even go for Europe as well. It will be hilarious, won't it? And it couldn't be better, with the orange player invading the black player into Australia while not even taking over it. I think I'm going to get crazy strong in comparison with other players. In this situation I think it would be the best to try being greedy and expand to my own advantage rather than doing something else as it looks like that my opponents will crush each other anyway, so I definitely gotta take the advantage of this situation. I decided to move my three troops out from North America so the yellow player would get even bigger initiative to go for North America while potentially believing that I intend to be a friendly player to him while what I actually want is that he would waste his troops on crushing the orange and black players troops in it, so he would do the dirty work for me. And to be honest I cannot believe it worked. I think the yellow player really believes that I want to be in a mutually beneficial alliance with him as he didn't even guard his border against me. But unfortunately to him in this game I have a really dominating position, so I'm not looking for friends, that I want is to keep sustaining my strong position while preventing all others from holding continents and with that very quickly, winning the whole game. Right now is like 1 vs 3 situation, and I'm not really sure if my opponents realize that yet, it's like their last turns to do something and they should really look forward to team up on me before it's too late. And oh no, the yellow player actually has a 10 troop set at 3 cards. That is really messed up. But alright he didn't choose them on invading me so I still win the game. But come on. Now the orange player has a set at 3 cards as well who is going to invade me into all of my continents through Europe. But that's amazing, I cannot believe he actually went for the black player instead so with him not being able to trade in a set in the same turn I end up holding all of those 3 continents which I think will be enough for me to win the whole game. But we are going to see how it goes. Unfortunately I do not have a set to have enough troops to take the orange player out for his 5 cards, but I think it would be still a great idea to wipe him out from Australia. I think it might be even very good if the yellow player takes the weakened orange out for his 5 cards, rather than the orange player trades in a set and they both use their troops on attacking me, right? Looking to the troops counter I'm way too strong and then at the same time at even 5 cards. But alright the yellow player goes with the decision to invade me into Europe and then gets good enough blitz rolls to invade me into Africa and South America as well. Though the orange player only gets a 4 troop set to invade into and take Australia from me. Looking to the troops counter I have the same amount of troops as both of my opponents combined and with me trading an A set to become even stronger I'm guaranteed to win so as long as I successfully take the yellow player out which I think I will definitely do. And that's right. No way the orange player wins the 2 player endgame against me when I'm in the advantage and everything, the troops, the territories and the cards wise. So he shows a good sportsmanship by immediately surrendering so nobody of us would be wasting our time. Now I would recommend you watching another quick game on Classic Risk Map in which I've won against one border North American player. That was just crazy and hilarious, so make sure to check this video out. That's another fixed card game.